Come to Niagara Falls Comic Con for a three-day celebration of pop culture featuring more than 150,000 square feet of exhibits, comic books, memorabilia, celebrities, the video game arena, Falls Horror Fests, and more. Come and meet more than 30 celebrities, including the legend himself, William Shatner, Breaking Bad's Giancarlo Esposito, TV Superman Dean Kane, Woo! The Nature Boy, Ric Flair, The Seventh Dr. Sylvester McCoy, 90210's Jason Priestley, TMNT's Kevin Eastman, The Walking Dead's Chandler Riggs, Ghostbuster Ernie Hudson, and much more. Get your picture taken with the Ecto-1, the Doctor Who Daleks, and the Star Wars Stormtroopers. Niagara Falls Comic Con takes place Friday, June 6th, Saturday, June 7th, and Sunday, June 8th at the Scotiabank Convention Center in Niagara Falls, Canada. Tickets are available at the door and online at nfcomiccon.com. Presented by Niagara College Canada. Welcome to the Droids You Are Looking For Canada on Facebook, on Twitter, now on G+. And the podcast starts now. This is blasphemy. This is madness. This is Joy Calls. Hey everyone, it's Raina from the Droids You Were Looking For Canada, and this is my audio review for The Walking Dead Season 2, Episode 3, In Harm's Way. Now I'm going to keep this relatively spoiler free, and by that I mean I'm not going to tell you what happens at the end, um, and I'm going to try my best to avoid major plot points because, well, you got to play the game to find that out yourself. So I'm going to start with the gameplay, and I'm going to say that the gameplay, much like the rest you know, all the other episodes is, um, you have, you still have your decision making and you still have your actual interactions. So the thing is that I, I didn't quite like was how little interaction there was. There was a lot of decision making, but there wasn't a whole lot of actual playing. And that kind of disappointed me, but I mean, that's, I I find that's just how it's been. Uh, if that's going to be how it is from season one where you know, episode four and five are your big decision making, or your decision making gets harder and harder and harder, and then you're, you get, you go through the gameplay, and there's more gameplay than there is just, you know, going along, but I guess some of the, what I think is lack of interaction makes up in storyline. So before I go into the storyline, I'm going to say that the gameplay was still pretty good for, again, for what I find was lacking. I'm still going to play it again, so there is pl- replay value because obviously, I, I don't know about anyone else, but I like going to make those different decisions. So what I'm probably going to do is end up go- playing episode 2 again, making different decisions, and then replaying episode 3 and seeing how they turn out. So. That's, again, the, I find that the replay value for even season one, I, I probably went through that three times, making d- different decisions every time. So, I liked, I like it, you know, g- good good replay value, so I'm going to give that probably a five out of five. However, with the gameplay itself, because of the lack of interaction, I'm going to, I'm going to say four out of five, only, only because I do wish that there was more interaction, but... I find the story, because the storyline makes up for it, that's why I'm not giving it any less because the storyline was just so amazing. So for before I give my rating for the storyline, I'm just going to say if anyone had has played the downloadable content for, uh, for the first season, if you haven't, I don't know why, because I'm pretty sure that it came with the game. So if you haven't, go, do it because you need to understand, you need to do it in order to understand what's going to be going on in episode three so if you haven't done it please do so that you're in the loop because the storyline you find out about carver you find out just about everything about the guy so play if 400 days in so that you can understand a lot of the people a lot of his crew and where they came from and if you have played 400 days in so obviously you'll know who bonnie is 
and you'll from episode two, so you kind of have a you kind of have a guess as to what you know what's going to be going on. So they start off with the with I guess uh, Kenny's crew and some of uh, Carlos's crew. They they've you know you know they've taken them hostage. So that's where it starts off, and they head over to Carver's. Um, I'm going to call it a headquarters. He calls it a community, so you can obviously the court, the the relation that they have between him and the governor, and so you meet some of his. The, he, you know, they they call them they call them staff. We know they're prisoners. So basically, it's one big labor camp for to keep you know to keep it uh, s- sustained. And I don't know. I that's something you know where they were someplace that I'd like to be held you know hold up in because it was actually pretty decent. You know, it's they get hold, held up in uh, in a former Lowe's, except obviously it's not called that, but that's what it looks like with the signs all falling off. But um, basically, they you meet the other uh, quote prisoners, and you learn about Carver. You learn about uh, the baby. And that whole storyline unravels, and you f- you find out why the other group ran away. So it 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 answers any questions that you would have had as to you know from episode one and two. It answers those questions for now. I mean, obviously episode four and five are still in the works, and you know there's other questions that need to be answered. But it, it answers who Carver is, what he was doing, why they ran away, and what they're gonna do now um, because I found that Carver his storyline they you know they just they let it out um, whether some people think that might have been too fast and it could have been carried forward but I guess we're gonna have to wait to see what happens in episode 4 and 5 so I think they, they might have gotten another episode out of it but they obviously have other things in mind so to get all of those all those questions answered and all of that done I found obviously they had to do that and they did it well. I don't feel like it was rushed. It was it was still well done and answered the questions and um, and again it ties in with what happened in 400 or uh, 400 days in. So you again, you find out more about uh, who he was, why they ran away and you kind of hate the guy. You love to hate the guy. I'm gonna say that there there was some shock value, because I there were quite a few points where you're gonna love to hate him and his crew, because he is he's a very very hor- horrible person. And if anything, um, he's very much like the governor. So if you liked how evil the governor was, you are going to like Carver. Um, I, I enjoyed the governor in the show. I found that he was much more sadistic in the book, and they don't, yeah, they don't hide anything. You know, he's, they break barriers and they do things where you're just gonna sit there and say, okay, they, yep, they did that, and yeah, it was. It's not even, and it's not even a decision really that you can make. It just, you know, it just happens in the game, and I felt horrible watching it. But again, they break barriers, whether you want them to be broken or not. So it's definitely heartbreaking and um, heart wrenching, heartbreaking. Just it, some of it was tough to watch. Um, I guess obviously, if you have some kind of conscience, it's tough to watch. So the storyline, I give it five out of five. I thought it was really well done. Some people may think that it was rushed because they probably could have gotten another episode out of it, but I think all the questions, all the all the loose ends were tied, and now it's time to you know move forward with with who remains, um, because that is a question of who will remain. Because the plan is obviously part of the storyline is they try and escape again, and so with you, yeah, that's what episode four and five is going to be. So you you know you got to move on. So if there's anything that I wish that I hope in episode four is that there is more that there is more interaction and just as much decision making. So that's about the only thing overall. I would give the whole thing four point five out of five again only because I wish there was more interaction. But the storyline makes up for it, and I liked it. 
and I can't wait for episode 4 to come out. It, it's a real cliffhanger because you sit there thinking, oh my god, just hurry up, I want episode 4 to come out, and you, yeah, again, you want more questions answered, and just hope that the storyline just stays that good. So, yeah, I hope this helps out, and I hope you enjoy playing episode 3 because I thought it was fantastic. Peace out, have a chimichanga! Thanks for listening to the Droids You Are Looking For podcast. Stay tuned for next week's podcast. Remember, the Force will be with you always.